Thank you very much, Vera Sharaf. I'm very humbled to have you on this um, episode of Klartext. I am talking to you, Vera, um, and, and you are a survivor of the darkest period in, in German history. So the, I'm referring to the Holocaust. I am a trained historian. It is a very special situation. I feel um, extremely uh, uncomfortable in leading this um, interview. However, I, I know it is important that we talk about it um, because the present situation does bear um, some analogy, some resemblance um, to to what happened um, in, in the past. But would you please be so kind and, and give us a brief, well, a, brief a brief background um, of who you are and, 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 and what brought you to become an advocate uh, for the rights of people uh, in, in medical research, if that is correct? Yes, I, I was, I'm a child survivor. I was three and a half years old when my family was uprooted in Romania where we had lived. And we were herded off into a concentration camp where my father died of an infectious disease, tetanus. Uh, I was in the camp for about three and a half years. Uh, although this was not a death camp, death was always the threat, the threat of being sent to a death camp. This was pretty much a starvation camp. Um, I learned what, what life is like under this kind of circumstances and what it's like to be a uh, despised outcast. Um, children take in a lot more than adults give them credit. Children observe much more of what adults don't think that they observe. Um, I dreaded uh, being separated from my mother, my only parent at that point. Uh, and uh, this, I can't at this point really think of how I managed three and a half years under those unlivable conditions, but there it is. Um, at one point I did some, I did something I learned somehow or other by the time I was six uh, to disobey authority. I think this is something that has stood me well um, as a public advocate for issues that the establishment, the very powerful establishment doesn't want one to delve into. Of course, medical experimentation uh, is one of those dark areas. Um, one of the things that people don't really question is who, whose children, for example, serve as human subjects uh, to test new drugs and vaccines? Who are these? What parent in their right mind would, would give their child to be used as a guinea pig in what could be very dangerous. I would ask that, but yeah, it's the children of who society looks as as an underclass. Mm -hmm. I learned in, in doing a lot of research as an adult that unless we look at each other as humanity being one species, the Holocaust can be repeated. The difference between the Holocaust and other genocides 
was the intimate involvement of the medical establishment. That made all the difference. That makes it a completely different and I think much worse crime 